Today my adventures take me to Indalu Game Reserve, located 30 kilometers away from Mossel Bay. Visits to this game reserve is by appointment, as they aim to have a more intimate and personal experience. I joined them for an afternoon as they hosted families for the game drives and the sundowners. And although they have most of the big five and other wildlife species, one of the main attractions here is the amazing African elephants. This is where you will meet these gentle giants up close and personal. At Indalu, they have two amazing elephants called Bukari and Moketsi, with the handlers Noah and Zondiwe, keeping a close eye on the safe interaction between guests and the main stars of the show. So this afternoon, I've got the privilege of walking with giants, with the big boys, with the elephants. Absolutely amazing. African elephants are the largest land animals on earth. They are slightly larger than their Asian cousins and they can be identified by the large ears that somewhat look like the continent of Africa. Elephant ears radiate heat to help keep these large animals cool, but sometimes the African heat is too much. Elephants are fond of water and enjoy showering by sucking water into their trunks and spraying it all over themselves. Here amongst the elephants you'll find Francina, who's an ostrich that believes she's an elephant. An elephant's trunk is actually a long nose, used for smelling, breathing, trumpeting, drinking and also grabbing things. The trunk alone contains about 40,000 muscles. The elephants have two finger-like features on the end of these trunks that they can use to grab small items, like food. On this game reserve you can actually come and not only walk with the elephant but you can also feed them, have photos, pet them and really get up close to them. What an experience! Elephants eat about 10% of their body weight. Average weight is about 4 to about 6 tons. That is a lot of food. And the average age of an elephant is about 60 years old. Now the big one here is about 27 years old and it will be fully matured at 35. They far away from fully grown. And they're humongous. You can see there in the back. It's just, they're just absolutely beautiful. The cool part about their teeth, they've got six sets of molars and every 10 years they lose them all and get new ones. And that will determine also how old they're going to get. 
if they're going to make 65. Just as much as I love forests and stuff, I do love the bushveld. And uh, once again, being out here this time with the elephants, so cool. What I do hope, just like when we're sailing, is that there are when 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 you go sailing, you hope that there is no sharks, but here I hope there is no lions. An elephant skin is generally very tough. It is about 2.5 centimeters or one inch thick. But some of the areas, like around the mouth, the skin can be a little bit thinner. An elephant uses mud as sunscreen, protecting its skin from ultraviolet light. Although it is tough, the elephant's skin is very sensitive, and without regular mud baths to protect it from the burning, insect bites and moisture loss, an elephant's skin can suffer serious damage. In Dalu, we started in 2008 when we bought the property. It was a sheep and a cattle farm and also old wheatland. We turned it into a game reserve. We have a big five animals. Currently we short lion and we hope to introduce that soon. As well as cheetah and some spotted hyena. What we do when guests come, there's two options. We can go on a game drive, and we normally prefer a sunset game drive where we can have some drinks like some of our guests are enjoying now. Uh, or we go in the morning, early morning, so we prefer a sunrise or a sunset game drive. And then during the day, we offer elephant experiences where we have a lovely adventure where you walk with an elephant in the wild side uh, for one kilometer, which is also what we say educational walk, uh, where we learn about elephants and while we do that you know they have a chance to experience them close by where they can touch them and feel them as well as obviously ask questions sometimes we encounter buffalo rhino other buck species zebra giraffe on the route as we walk through the reserve next to a, a riverine area we feed them a snack bucket i think that is just to show you the tea for example they have six sets of molars and a lot of people never saw that molars because it's inside the mouth and when you give them food you know you can actually see it and the molars is determining how old they get um, as, as you mentioned earlier they have six sets of molars and every 10 years there's a new set changing so depending on how they use their teeth you know that it determines if they die in the age of 60 to 75 years of age Accommodation we are very small and we um, plan to keep it that way as well. We currently can only accommodate um, eight guests, overnight guests, with two units that sleep four per unit. And then we plan to build another five additional units so that we can keep the total people that we accommodate per night in the region of 25 people. It's okay. No, it's so slim, but, um, can I go that side? Yeah, but the guitar's going. No, I just want to focus with yellow. Well, okay. okay. <laughs> this is dedication. Just before we end of this, this video, our dear photographer is getting a couple of shots with uh, the elephants in the moon. That is dedication right there.
Join me again next time as we discover the history of the Montague Pass. And please remember, like, subscribe and share. Thank you.